This is how you can lock and gray out cells based on a cell value. We're going to start off by graying out lock cells. Go ahead and highlight your data set like this, excluding the lock column, and you go home, style, conditional formatting, new rule. In here, you're going to select use formula to determine which cell to format, and the formula will be G5. Make sure you press F4 two times like this so that your column is fixed and your row is variable. If this particular cell values is equal to yes, you're going to apply conditional formatting to your cell by clicking on this format button here. On the font color, we're going to color slightly darker gray. And on the fill color, we're going to select as light gray and click OK. And if this condition is true, it's going to look something like that. Go ahead and click OK and you can see your result. Although the font color is gray, you go ahead and make those changes. It will still accept the changes. To lock it, highlight your data set like this again. Go to data on your ribbon, data tools, data validation. Over here, make sure you're in a setting tab here. And then in here, you're going to say custom. Remove the check from ignore blanks, just in case if your lock cell has a blank. And then the formula would be G5. Press your F4 three times so that your column is fixed and your row is variable. And after that, if this cell value is not equal to yes, you're allowed to make those changes. But if it's yes, we're going to show a pop-up window. And in the window, you're going to say cell is locked like this and since it's a pop-up window it does have a title bar you're gonna say title bar as locked cell like this for the style we're gonna just leave it for stop for now and we'll come back and revisit it shortly here and click on ok now if you try to edit any lock cells like this you can see that you get a pop-up window and if you retry you're allowed to enter one more time but changes are not accepted but for instance if you want a feature where your user are prompted or given a chance to say yes or no to make those changes simply do this highlight your data set go to data tools data validation in here you're going to change this to warning and click on ok and if you try to make any changes in here it gives you an option to either accept the change or not accept the change but if you decide to accept the change like this the changes are applied and if you want a case where you don't want the user to say yes or no just say ok and accept the changes simply highlight this thing go to data tools and data validation again and change this warning to information and now if you make any changes a pop-up window will appear but when you click on ok the changes are accepted right away